Hey guys, Meet Rebel Chris Tomer here with this on the snow, snow before you go forecast. All right, here's what I'm seeing during this time period. So, our current storm system spinning across the four corners in our Mountain West will continue until 4 2, especially in Colorado and New Mexico, and then it's going to move away. Then the pattern's going to shift, and we're going to get a Canadian connection with at least one storm system probably two that are going to drop straight out of the north out of Canada with a buckling northern branch and that will dominate the pattern. You can see the timeline here for snowfall in the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Sierra in the northeast. So for example in Colorado we've got moderate to heavy snow afternoon evening 331 into the morning of 4-1 so 4-1 will likely be a powder day and then heavy snow again 4-5 and 4-6 in the northeast um, still looking at this potential for a major storm system, 4-3 and 4-4, with heavy snow accumulation. Wait till you see some of these numbers. Okay, so let me just uh, take you over to uh, my spider chart here. Uh, odds of best snow next five to seven days. So more purple, higher on the web, better odds of new snow. And you know what? That's a lot of the Wasatch. That's the Tetons. That's the western slope of Colorado. Those areas are going to be higher on the chart, but also the northeast. This 4344 storm system looks to be uh, pretty significant. All right, let me take you over to water vapor satellite imagery and just kind of show you the features at play in this forecast. So there's our slow moving storm system coming out of California that rolls towards the four corners and then away after 4-2. Now behind it, everything is in the northern branch. These two areas of low pressure right here, let me just mark them, will ride this northern branch through Alaska, Canada, and then eventually, at 4-3 and beyond, they're going to dive down and affect the west. California, Pacific Northwest, BC, um, Banff area, all across the Intermountain West through the course of time. Riding a strong northern jet stream. Let me show you the jet here. So by the close of business on 4-1, this is what we're dealing with. The leftover of storm number one, that's going to be moving out of Colorado, New Mexico on 4-2. Then we look to the north. Here comes that buckling northern branch that brings in the first storm system here. And that one runs all the way through California and then into the interior. Look, there's a second one here that's likely. And that one dives even further to the south. And that one's going to take more time. And even on 4.9, it still hasn't moved through the inner mountain west. Okay, let me just show you what the precip is going to look like. Forecast radar satellite. So by the morning of 4.1, leftover snow, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. And then by the time we get into the afternoon, it really just sort of gels in, in Colorado. And it's sitting over northern New Mexico. And then the storm exits on 4.2. And then we look to the north. Here comes our Canadian storm system. The first one, it drops down. Affects California, the Pacific Northwest, and then it starts to make its move into the uh, interior Rockies. And it snows pretty good, moderate to heavy snow accumulation through 4.7. Then the second storm, it's hard to see, but it's diving down through California and then down into the four corners. So that one's going, going to go a little further to the south, and it's not even done on 4.9. All right, so here's my grand total forecast map. So by late 4-9, these are the kind of numbers, the grand totals. 1 to 2 feet through the Wasatch, the Tetons, looking at about eh, 6 to 14 in a lot of Colorado, especially the western slope. That's where we're going to see most of the accumulation with less on the Continental Divide. Um, some pretty good numbers up through parts of northern uh, Idaho. Idaho itself looks good, anywhere from 8 to 12, but uh, looking good through Snow Bowl, Whitefish, Montana. And look at the numbers in Fernie in Sunshine Village. So that heavy swath of snow is, is just capturing both of those, but less snow as you go towards Kicking Horse and Marmot and Revelstoke and Red Mountain. In the Sierra, anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 inches roughly between Tahoe and Mammoth for grand totals. Let me break it down by time period. So if you're skiing on 4-1, um, look to the Wasatch, look to the Tetons, look to Colorado, and look to New Mexico. That's where the best snow accumulation through 4-1 is going to be. Second time period. This one is the transition period. Everything starts to come out of the north, so just light accumulations, light to moderate during this time period. Final time period. Everything starts to move through and rotate through the inner mountain, so 4-5 to 4-9, looking at 8 to 12 in the Teton, 6 to 12 in the Wasatch, and another 4 to 8 in Colorado across the western slope. And this is where we pick up some decent accumulation through Fernie, Sunshine, Schweitzer, Whitefish, and Snowball. Okay, let's go to the northeast. So the big numbers are here. I mean, this could be a significant snow, assuming the storm track stays where it is and we have enough cold air, looking at probably two feet of snow. And a lot of Vermont, parts of New York State, 
around Whiteface and New Hampshire and Maine. This could be a major storm system again. These are grand totals by late 4-9. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this On the Snow Snow Before You Go forecast. Appreciate it, and take care.